your hand. Coming up next, crazy human stunts. This may look painful, but actually, it's not. So why don't these guys end up with a bunch of holes through them? Well, the same basic principle that kept you from breaking your hand on the board is also responsible for this. Allow me to explain by using this balloon. If I press it down on this nail, it'll pop. But if I press a balloon down with the same force on a bunch of nails, nothing happens. Why is this? Well, with one nail, the force is concentrated on one tiny spot on the balloon. With a bunch of nails, the force is spread out. Each nail only applies a small amount of pressure on the balloon. Not enough to actually puncture it. It's the exact same thing that happens when you lay on a bed of nails. But it's the exact opposite of what happens when you break a piece of wood in half. If a karate expert were to try and break the board with an open hand, the force of the impact would be spread out too much. To break the board, she must concentrate the force into as small an area as possible. This breaks the board for the same reason a single nail punctures the balloon. No magic here. It's all a matter of spreading the force around. Next on Crazy Human Stunts, watch a man snatch a speeding bullet out of the air with his teeth. Oh, I don't want to see that one. You're going to have to find another science show to explain that one to you. Coming next, Mike asks the timely question, why do clocks run clockwise? And we answer some viewer questions. The day 